one. <coughs> what a cute card, right? Just adorable. We're going to go through this Seascape bundle with the diorama dies a little bit this week. And then I'm going to take a little time off. So I'll be back on, uh, I'll do a video tomorrow. And my team will get their video this week. I've already got the cards made. And um, then I won't be on on Sunday. Then I'll be back on the 11th. Hi, Diane. Whew, I've already been outside trimming bushes. Oh, but I got it done before this. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, everyone. Busy, busy, right? We're going to have fun. So, um, I checked last night, as of last night, um, the sand and sea paper was still available. The sand and sea paper, uh, which I used right here for this card. I'm all excited about this. Um, so, my summer giveaway is if you order $50 in product, you get a, um, an entry to win. Hi, Mary. The layering diorama dies. I've got two of them out. So the layering diorama dies. The, and then the seascape bundle. Now, my cards this week are all about the beach, that kind of thing. But um, you can really use the layering dioramas with other um, sets. Flowers look beautiful with it, and I, I will do some of that uh, if, probably maybe even while I'm on a little vacay there. But the vacay is not a vacay, okay? The vacay is, I need to clean the fans in the house, and I need to, I need a little, my house needs, the inside of my house needs some, my attention. While I'm very busy working with the outside of my house, good morning, Sandra, um, the inside has lacked a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, while that's, and then I have to keep my grandson. So, and it's not the 10 year old, it's the two year old. So that is something that, that those days are completely shot. You can't even, you can't even open the door to the craft room. So, because he's two, right? <laughs> There's too much fun in here. Hi, Julie. All right. So let's talk about uh, the layering of this. While I was working with all of this uh, yesterday, I realized that I'm sure it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Joan. Um, uh, while I was working with this yesterday, I realized that when you work with it, you have to almost think of an ice cream cone, large on the top, going to small on the bottom. This way, then you get, you know, your picture there, okay? So the largest die would always be on the outside, no matter which ones that you picked. And um, through the week here, I've tried to use most all of the dies, uh, which are so much fun. And of course, I've used a lot of these. Now, I also wanted to show you with this little seahorse um, how to cut it out because they made it um, to where it doesn't cut out totally from here because if you like wanted to cut this and put, um, let's just say, put a piece of paper behind it, okay, and use it like that, you could. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carrie. Good morning. You could do it like that. So that's why that they left it like this, where you could just do that. But it's very, very simple to cut out. So when we get to that point, we'll do that, okay? I just want to, I want to show you all the intricacies of um, this set, so which I really, really love. Now, with this one, I used my... Um, my blue adhesive back gems. I love the seahorse. I love this seahorse. He, he's fun because there's a lot you can do with him. I even did a little chalk work with him. Uh, probably that might be tomorrow's card uh, because my upline sent me those chalks. And then I looked at a video on all of, uh, there's a lady in Canada that um, did a lot with the chalks and I really liked it. So I did a little chalk work with the seahorse. I love the seahorse, so cute, right? Okay, so my um, this is the card right here. And even though it looks like I cut that out, I didn't. I just laid the part that I cut out from here on top of the Pacific point. And it really gives it an optical illusion, right? Okay, so uh, here is our, uh, of course, an envelope. And our card base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It'll open like this. My inside piece is um, Pacific Point at five and a half by four and a quarter. And uh, I did that 
or wait a minute. No, five and a quarter by four. The inside piece is, I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four, okay? And I did that so that it would handle, when we cut this out, that it would handle the um, inside of that. At least, um, let me make sure about that. Let me see, yeah, yeah, okay. So that's that. And then out here, mainly uh, when I started to put this together, I cut my layers a little short because I thought, well, you know, I don't need all that thickness out there. But then I realized with putting the dimensionals on that everything needed to be the same size. So all three of these pieces, the Pacific Point, the Balmy Blue, and the any DSP that you use, but this is from Sea and Sand, they are all five and a half by four and a quarter. They are all the total front of this card because that's what this part takes. Okay, this larger one, it takes the entire front the five and a half by four and a quarter. So <clears throat> with that being said, let's go ahead and open our Pacific Point and we're gonna start with our bottom layer. I like doing this from the bottom up, almost like you're filling up an ice cream cone, right? Um, and uh, I used my little fishes. There's three little fishes in the sea here, isn't that cute? And then we have bubbles. So I, I know that I'm going to be covering a lot of this so it really doesn't matter where I put these fish, okay? Um, only because, you know, other things are gonna layer on top of it. So we're just gonna put them randomly around, okay? Just random. This way then, when I do layer, you know, they'll be sticking out a little bit. There we go there. And now we're gonna add some bubbles. I love these bubbles. They are very, very cute bubbles. Just like so. And I think that's enough. I really think that's gonna be more than plenty. Okay, all right, now. Now what we wanna do, that we have the base uh, completed, we wanna move this to the side and um, we're gonna go ahead and do a little white embossing. This is a piece from the Sand and Sea. I mean, it is teeny tiny piece. Uh, it's a half inch and I'm going to take my embossing buddy, just put that over there just a second because we're going to emboss in white. This is for our sentiment. I'm gonna use a little Versamark and the word thank you here. And this might not stay this big. We might cut this back. So I'm going to um, stamp it all the way to the left here because I'll probably cut some of that off. I want it teeny tiny. But I love the thank you. It's very um, thin and scripty. Now you can't even see it on there. Well, actually you can. You might see the uh, image and I can see it. It's wet and that's good. And then I take my embossing powder. Versamark stays wet for a little bit. So you got got a few minutes, minute or so to work with it. And um, so it's nice that I have this a little bit longer because I've got something to hold on to. So I'm just going to take my embossing powder and go right over top of that. And look how pretty that is. Came out cute, right? Push that back in there. And we'll cover this up, close this up. Brush that off a little bit. And let's just use our heat tool right here. And I'm gonna pick this up with my tweezers because it gets hot. Now this white embossing powder will then dry. It actually melts, I should say, into the Versamark and it looks like white paint. So I don't know if you can see that transformation happening right there. Yeah, there we can see it, I can see it. Look how pretty when it turns that white when it melts. I'm just going to hit it from the back just to straighten that paper out a little bit, okay? If your paper curls, hit it from the back with the heat and it'll straighten it out. So that's perfect. Okay, nice. Now you could just take a scissor and cut it down. I'm just going to take my little cutter here and I'm going to cut this down to be teeny, teeny, tiny. Okay. Just like that. Isn't that cute? Wonderful. Okay, so now we have that element done. 
let's go ahead and bring our envelope in and let's make our little envelope here. Uh, and we will just use our fishes, our little fishes in the sea, and some bubbles. And I'm just using Pacific Point today. My hands are still shaking from using that, um, ooh, I got a little rock there, that's okay. Um, from using the hedge trimmers. There we go. There, that's better. And some bubbles. We'll get like all these little preliminaries out of the way and so that we can concentrate on what we're doing here. Okay, now we've got to use that again. Let's see if I put this away. Okay, now, now we want to cut these guys, okay? So let's bring in our stamp cut and emboss machine. And we need the big one. Good. Now, this is the largest diorama die, and um, just position it on this paper to where it cuts the entire die, just like that, okay? Very simple, very, very simple. These are not hard to use, it's just you have to think of them as an ice cream cone, and as you're layering, the smallest goes on the bottom. Okay, there we go there. Now we have this piece for the inside. Let's save that, okay? And we have our nice shell of a frame right there. This is balmy blue. And this is the next size down. Again, I use the same um, measurement at five and a half uh, by four and a quarter on the outside. And you'll see why. Thank you for sharing, Mary. So here's this, okay? Now we have this piece and these two pieces. So I'll put that one over there, put that one there. Good, now we'll move this out of the way because I've already cut my um, seagrass and my fish. So what I wanted to show you about the fish that's in this, these dies, is they have, they're together, they're, um, the die is together, okay? but the fish are going both ways, okay? Like you get a fish going to the left and you get one going to the right, like they're swimming. Isn't that cool? So it's one cut, but you get them going. They're so sweet. They're really, really cute. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. And then here is this like um, coral seagrass, I guess it is. And I did this in soft sea foam. And then this I did in, the fish I did in um, Daffodil Delight. So I cut those out. So I wanted to show you that. So here's just the dyes that come with it. I use the koi fish on another card. I, and I absolutely love it. And um, so not many dyes, you know, but there's plenty to play with. Because then you have these beautiful stamps. And today we're only touching the iceberg with this just the tip of the iceberg because we have this gorgeous stamp here. Of course, this one here, this big fish. I've used everything. I've In the three cards that I did yesterday for this week, I've used everything. So that's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside. Uh, and we're gonna do just thought you should know how wonderful you are. And we're gonna stamp this down in this corner. Now, you can you can move this around however that you want like I say, your little piece of the beach to be. I like it like that. There's no rhyme or reason. And just right there. Beautiful. And this is Pacific Point. And now we're going to just take some of the seaweed in Pacific Point and just put it here for a focal point. Just like that. Awesome. <clears throat> now, the inside of the card now, we have our... Pacific point, and again, this is five and a quarter by four. And now we're going to attach this here. And this fits right around the, look at how pretty that looks, right? But it almost looks like you cut it out, but you didn't, you just layered it. And we use this piece of paper, right? I would not want to waste something that big. So that's why I thought the inside of the card was a good place for this. Right here, just like that. So pretty. Let's see. We could turn it just a little bit, get that. Yeah. 
get my saying a little bit straighter if I just pulled it down just a little bit. Okay, now we can attach this to the inside of the card. So we already have our envelope, our background, the inside of the card done in no time. In absolutely no time. That's so pretty. So pretty inside. Ha! Fun, right? Okay, now, here's where all of the decorating and fun begin. Let's get our piece. We're going to move our card base out of the way. Let's get our piece right here, and let's take a look. So this is the smaller one. Remember, we're working like an, see how it didn't matter where we put the fish? Because it just, um, you know, they're kind of swimming in and out. So remember now, we've got the ice cream cone and we're working up, okay? And then this will come here. Now, <clears throat> you can put it, okay, let, let's talk about this. You can put it so that they're exact, okay? Or you can put it to where, you know, that they're a little wonky, I like the wonky look, okay? I like that look. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now let's go ahead and take our, we're gonna use a lot of dimensionals and maybe even some pieces around the sides. So we're going to take our dimensionals here and we're going to um, put them on the back of this uh, cutout piece with the diorama dies. Uh, now, the thing about this is that you want support. Okay, you have to have support around here because, um, you know, the inside, you don't want it to cave in, okay? So I'm going to be putting, these cards do take a lot of dimensionals, which is fine. I'll just keep pulling them off as we go. And here, okay. And now like in through here, okay, I like to take these little side pieces and just stick them there. Remember, you can use every bit of your dimensionals, never have to throw any away. I'm just gonna come around and start placing this to where I feel like I have enough support around my edges here. And let's see, I think we could put a full one right there. And let's see, does the whole one fit here? Yes. Wonderful. And just one more little side one right there. Okay. Now, simple, simple. Now, the thing about this now is that you have to line this up, okay? Uh, and let, let's check it again. We wanted it the wonky look, right? So I want to come this way. Yep, okay. See, because if I turned it, then everything matches, all right? Or I could have turned this piece, I suppose. So now with this, you want to just kind of come hover over top of it and just lay the piece down on top of it there. Wait until you get it right and then push it because so you could easily lift it up, okay? Right there. Now then, this is going to go on top of there. Isn't that cute? Okay, I love this. Um, <clears throat> all right, now we're going to put more dimensionals. All right, I'm just gonna put some little ones here on the sides. Um, so if you like a nice dimensional card, this is for you, for sure. And I love it. And like I said, the three that I did um, this week is all with the Seascape because two, I'm giving that away at uh, the beginning of August. So you have the month of July. And, oh, I wanted to tell you guys, there's a big um, sale coming on DSP. I believe it's the 1st of July. So that's exciting. I want to get more of the peach. I love that peach DSP. So you're just going to use some of this, these littles right here just to give us just a teeny bit of support. That's all. It's all it needs to do is just help us out. This one here. And that one there. Good. And let's get one little one up here. See on these little skinnies right here where the, the paper gets thin, you know, if you can stick one in there, that's good. And I just use some pieces sometimes. 
of sides that I've just cut up and put on my little part here. Let's use another one of these right there. And I think we're good. I think we're good on that. I might be a little excessive with the dimensionals. I always am. But I like for it to be supported. Okay. Now, again, we don't want it to match up. See right there, it matches up. So I'm just going to turn it. And now I'm going to hover over. Whoa. That decided to just stick on there, right? So I'm going to just hover over it. And hope for the best. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice, isn't that cute? That is beautiful. Okay, now, you have the option. You can put it on here flat with um, uh, a Tombow, or you can pop it up again, okay? Now, since I've popped it up twice, I think I'll just put it down with, um, oh, I'm sorry, I missed all these comments. I'm over here doing this. This is would be the coolest shaker card, Kelly. You are so right. I love this set. Good morning, Beverly. I need to get, I love the dioramas. You are fine, Patty, no problem. Good morning, Roxanne. And they still had not picked my order. Yeah, I know, Patty, they're a little slow. Me of the Koi Pond on my next order, of course, yes. Good morning, Karen, hello. I'm sorry, I missed some comments. I was so busy having fun. I'm <laughs> I get into crafting, guys. I mean, this is my serious love, okay? Um, yeah. Now that it's so hot, like I'll do yard work from 8 to 10 in the morning or 9.30. And then I will, um, good morning, Diana. And then I come in and I craft. And then if I want to swim, I swim. And then of the evening, I do more yard work. Okay, now I'm putting this down on top of this card. And it is the full base of the card. I used my Tombow because two... I just wanted a little bit of wiggle room. Oh my goodness, how cute. <clears throat> okay. Oh, look at that. Ah, and we're not done. We had 111 here. Yes, I cannot believe the heat out there, Diana. I am, so, I love retirement, right? Um, I cannot believe, I am so sorry for people um, out there where that heat is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I don't, I would not even know where to begin. Seriously. I mean, I, how do you even go to the store? How do you even get in the car and go to the store? I just don't even. Okay, so here's my little seagrass. And now that these are popped up, see, I can hide that right in there if I want to. You could put it on the outside too. But I'm going to put it here. It's going to go between the DSP layer and the balmy blue layer right there. And it's going to look like the fishes are swimming in the seagrass. Isn't that awesome? I saw your post, Roxanne. And then I think you lost power. You lost power and it's that hot. I mean, what do you do with yourself? I'm gonna put my glue dot on, on the front side because I'm gonna stick it in here. I mean, you know, like how, how do you, only 91 today, oh, good. My sister lives in Olympia. They had 103, which is really rare for them. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy. So I have that little glue dot there and I'm going to push it right there. Isn't that cute? It's just in between. You're gonna love this set, okay? Like I said, I, um, you sweat a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, Roxanne. I'm sure you did. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Now we're going to put our fishes. I love our fish because like I said with the dyes, one goes to the left and one goes to the right. I think that's so cute. So I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back of them. I want these guys popped up. They actually will take a full size one and it doesn't even cover their little eye because I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen. So this little guy is going to go like here, and he's going to have bubbles above him. So cute. And you know, look, you can hide these guys. Like, and I did that on another card. This is just the first one. I'll show you some. I'll show you the other cards. I can't. I don't know. I always say. I always say like I make them. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to show them. It's going to be a surprise. And then I start making something. I'm like, no, I want to show them the other thing that I did. Okay, now this little guy is going to go right up here. And he's going to have bubbles right there, too. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now, 
Let's move this aside and let's talk about our seahorse, which is just darling. Like I said, this is designed to where like, even if you put something behind it, you could cut this out, okay? And then use that behind it. But if you did not want to, which I don't want to, I want to use him separately. Um, the, this is not fussy cutting at all. This is just snipping, okay? Every bit is loose. There's just like four points that he is connected. The koi is the same way, okay? So I'm just gonna get in here with my scissor and I'm just gonna snip it right there. I'm gonna snip it right here. And honest guys, it is just snipping, see? And now these little parts right here, just come in there and cut them straight, just straight off. Very, very, very simple. I put my scissor in there and ju I just cut it straight, just like that. And he comes out perfect. Isn't he cute? Isn't he adorable? I love that. Okay, now he's gonna go over here. And he really makes the card, doesn't he? Just cute. And um, what did I put him on with? Let me check. Oh, I did do dimensionals, okay. So on his little body, he has some areas that are more solid. And I will need my little pieces here on the side because I want to help his tail be supported. And then this needs to be supported right here. Let's see if we can get a, a whole one in there. Yeah, a side, I think I could get that in there without seeing it, yep, okay. Now here I just wanna take a piece here And then I'm gonna get a little piece up here by his head. And I'm just kind of hiding them in strategic places. You could put a teeny tiny piece if you wanted to cut it in half on his nose, but I think he's good. We're gonna bring him in like this, and then we're going to place him right here in the sea. <gasps> he's adorable. He's absolutely adorable. It's a fun, this is fun. This is a lot of fun in the craft room, the dioramas, because you can you can wiggle them around, you can move them this way. I mean, there's so much to do with them. Now, my little um, thank you here, I'm just gonna put on with Tombow. This does not need to be put popped up, and I'm just putting it at the bottom, and I'm going to put it right here. Just like that, and it kind of holds my seagrass down a little bit. You could pop it up over it. Oh, that's cute, Like just like that. I like popping it up over it. Oh, adorable, absolutely adorable. Now, we're gonna use these gems right here. And luckily I have one small one here for his eye. And I'm gonna just stick it right here. He's got blue eyes. Isn't that cute? And then I'm gonna use these iridescent ones just around in the water. Cause they're darker and they really came out nice um, for this set. And I'm gonna put this one Let's put that one right in here. Let's put, yeah, like right by his tail. I don't want to cover my fish. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And there's the inside. Okay, so now let me show you the other, I have to show you the other cards. I must put some things away here. Let's see. <clears throat> Here's one that I did. This, I chalked the seahorse. Isn't it cute? And I just used one layer, and I used my sand here that comes in the um, stamp set. Thank you, Beverly, thank you. Now let's get the other one. Let me see, where did I put it? There's another one, okay. Here's the koi. This one is one of my faves. These are the three that I'm showing this week. Thank you, this seahorse is very cool. Look at that. I did this in um, shimmer vellum. But, and I hid my fish in the coral. So these are the cards that I'll be doing um, the next couple of days. Of course, like I said, my team will get one. And then um, I love them. Wow. I, it, this, is, this is just, this card today, Honest Guys, is the tip of the iceberg with this set. Okay, and like I said, I did all fish. I did all, thank you, Karen. I did all beach scene, it's summer, you know, it's kind of like that. But um, I'm going to play with this set again and I want to do flowers. 
Thank you. Let's see. We have no seahorses or koi's. Wait, what did I miss? Oh, hi, Peg. Thank you for watching. Let's see. We have horses, koi's in the lakes in New York. But a largemouth bass in its place. How funny. That's good. Oh, thank you, Carrie. Peg, this is a great set. It's not just, I mean, the dioramas, okay? The dioramas are fantastic for every, probably every set in the catalog, to tell you the truth, because you could tuck stuff in it. Could you imagine some beautiful flowers in here with, you know, different colors? And, but I'm just sticking to the, uh, the seascape this week because, too, that is my summer giveaway. And I wanted people to see everything that they could do with this. Now, of course, I've got my balmy blue here. Looks like a lake or a pond, right? <laughs> so there's something that I'll do with that. But for right now, this is our card for today. Thank you so much, Patty. And um, I hope you guys will enjoy the videos this week. Uh, like I said, I won't be here on Sunday. Uh, it's 4th of July, and uh, I've got the baby, so um, it gets a little hectic around here. And um, yeah, and doing stuff like that. I love them. I know, right? What a, what a fantastic week we're going to have with this set. So pretty. But while I'm off, maybe I'll get in here a little bit and um, because I don't see me staying away from this room. Um, and maybe I could do some more with these diorama dies that are not beachy, you know, that have a lot of other of our sets with it. Because I and I also think Christmas would look fantastic with this. You know, I think some trees, I even think fall and leaves and stuff like that with the dioramas. I think that they would be great. It helped. You got your mini catalog? Wow, that's great. Oh, if you guys are demonstrators, yes, you will be getting your mini catalog. Roxanne said she got hers. I thought it'd come, I didn't know if it'd come by the around the 1st of July or toward the first or second week. So that's wonderful. I will miss you guys. I know it's just a few days, you know, of not doing lives, but, um, but necessary family needs me. So that's okay. Right. Thank you. Have a wonderful, uh, you too, Carol. You have a nice fourth. Thank you. Your mini came too? Oh, I can't, okay. So maybe mine will be in the mail today. That's wonderful. Yeah, keep looking online, um, you know, at, at everything. But I really want that catalog in my hand to make my list. So that's fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you guys like this. Isn't it a happy card? If you were to open this card in the mail... I mean, okay, so I made a thank you card. You could put happy birthday. You could put almost anything. How are you? You know, um, thinking of you, that kind of thing, you know? Have an awesome holiday. Thank you, Beverly. Oh, thank you, Roxanne. I will. I'll enjoy the time with the baby. Yeah. You know, like I said, he's two. So it, it's it's a fun, is it a fun stage? Hope I, I know, right? I hope you get your catalog soon. Me too. Yes. Oh, and I won't be gone for long, and you never know. I might pop in here and do a live. You never know. I'm, it's, <laughs> I'm waiting for my paper to come and back stuff. Yes, yes. There's a lot of things on back order. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I checked yesterday, and the sand and sea is still available if you wanted to purchase something like that. You know, if you like to make beachy cards, it would be the time to stock up on that before it leaves at the end of June. I can't believe it's almost the, July. It's amazing. All right, everyone, please have a wonderful and safe day. Do some happy crafting. Um, if I don't see you this week, uh, you know, and you're busy, have a wonderful 4th, and I will connect with you again on the 11th on Sunday. But I'll be here. Um, nothing can keep Joanne from her happy. I know, right? Nothing can keep me from this room. I love this room. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, so I'll be on tomorrow on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. I'll see you then and we'll make another pretty card with this wonderful set. Stay safe, stay cool, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again for watching.